Hey guys, thank you for tuning back into my channel. My name is Veldog and this is my kitchen where I'll be bringing you affordable restaurant quality foods or better from my home to yours. Guys, let's get cooking. Okay guys, I am back and I'm back with a new delicious sandwich. Okay, um, this is something that I used to make at a restaurant I used to work at and the restaurant was called Denny's. I'm going to be making for you is um, a delicious moon over my ham sandwich. Okay? And it's going to be the best delicious moon over my ham sandwich that you've ever tasted. Alright, we're going to start out with here. <clears throat> There's some eggs. I have six eggs. I'm reasonably broken up because of some white stuff in there that I don't care for. So uh, it's six eggs. Okay? Just going to beat that up guys, real fine, now it takes anywhere from two to three minutes so I'm not going to go ahead and beat it on camera like that, so i just beat it a little bit for you guys, and I'm going to go ahead and jump into this stuff, you're going to need some butter, unsalted, you're going to need some cheddar cheese, sliced, and some sliced uh, provolone cheese, you're going to need um some ham and turkey all right so this is a kit from um oscar myers also you're gonna need some sourdough bread all right this right here i believe was like um dollar and 98 cents or something like that this was dollar and 99 or whatever I think it was $1.88. Yeah, there was $1.88 both of these. This kit right here was like about five bucks. And it's a lot of meat in there. So you definitely want to go get that. I think it was in between five to six bucks. Alright, the eggs, you know the eggs don't cost much. Mine's um uh, my eggs cost I try to buy a better grade. So this one, these eggs cost me about, I don't know, like a dollar and 99 or something like that. So I'm just beating these. Before I jump right into this, I would like to add something. I'm going to scoot this to the side. You guys ain't going to be able to see my face because I don't have a cameraman. So I'm going to sit down here. I have something to share with you guys. It's a Thanksgiving tag from my sister, Abigail. Navarro okay and um, she had asked me a couple of questions so I'm going to go ahead and answer some of them questions for you all right what well, I'm thankful for Thanksgiving gathering with family and eating a lot of food <laughs> and enjoying ourselves what is the favorite part of a turkey and my my part would be also the breast. I love the white meat. So, and the next question is, tell me 10 things that you're very thankful for. I'm thankful for living another day. I'm thankful for my kids. I'm thankful for my grandkids. I'm thankful for health. I'm thankful for uh, my companionship. I'm thankful for my family, my immediate family, and um, the other families, you know. Um, I'm thankful for being able to cook, and I'm thankful for, um, I'm trying to figure out, <laughs> I'm thankful for a whole bunch of things, you know. I'm thankful for God, most of part of all, and I'm also thankful for you guys, because I wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. So I'm mostly thankful for God, but mostly thankful for you guys. Let's see what she wanted me to say. I mean, X. The next question. What color do I like to dress my table with? Uh, I said in, in the comment, <laughs> I like dressing my table with food <laughs> during the Thanksgiving time or holidays. I don't really have a, a tablecloth or anything like that. You know, I may lay down some towels or something for the hot foods, but that's about it. 
What's your favorite food you like to make on Thanksgiving? I like to make turkey. I like to make dressing. I like to make uh, potato pies, sweet potato pies. I like to make ham. I like to make um, macaroni salad. I like to make macaroni and cheese. And um, that's about it. About everything, pretty much. Was my favorite type of sweets or or um, cakes or whatever. Uh, sweet potato pie, of course, number one. Pumpkin pie is okay, but it's not like sweet potato pie for me. But um, I like chocolate cake. Everybody know I love chocolate. Okay. So what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for everything. Any and everything, especially you guys. Because without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do it. I know I don't like to keep repeating. But without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do this. I would be cooking, of course. But as uh, far as giving you guys these restaurant quality meals or foods, you know, um, it is what it is. You know, because I'm creating more stuff as we go. You know, like I say, um, we don't have recipes. We only make recipes here as we go. So everything you see me doing, like this right here, now Denny's, they use a um, what is that? American cheese and maybe some Swiss cheese. I'm using cheddar and provolone. Okay, that's what we do. And I got eggs. You know they use the liquid eggs that's in the carton. That's what they do. I'm not gonna lie to you. So if you want your eggs real, tell them you want some real eggs beaten. Okay, and how you can tell is because you won't see any white in there. Okay. But if the next time you out eating, just make sure you if you want real eggs now, you gotta specify that you want real eggs. <clears throat> so that's how you can tell. Alright? If you see the whites in it, then it was real eggs. But if you don't see no whites in that egg, then it was not real. Alright, cause they ain't got time to be beaten all day. I'm just telling you the truth. Alright, I worked at a lot of restaurants. And I can't wait till we do them sweet potato pie. I'm going to make a video on that. I have the sweet potatoes over here. I'm here chilling. Let me see if I can grab that for you guys. See those? Oh, sweet potatoes right there. We're going to do us some pies. All right. Okay, those, most of the questions that she asked, I just wanted to reiterate on some of the stuff over here. And I want to thank you. Um, Abigail, you've been a real good trooper, a real family member. You um, always watches my videos like I watch yours. You know, I don't do the tit for tat and stuff like that. You know, if I like your content, I'm just going to watch your content. I'm being real. You know, um, it's not because I want you to watch mine. That's just who I am as a person. I love, I love everybody, even my enemies. And you know, I'm just trying to keep it real. And this is just who I am. Okay, uh, so much love go out to you, Abigail. Let's see, who do I want to challenge to do that uh, tag? It's not a challenge, it's just a tag. Uh, Ramsey Clan for life. I want to challenge Ramsey Clan for life. I want to challenge, not challenge, um, I want to tag. Uh, mukbangs and things. I want to tag Virgos, Queen T. I want to tag hmm, Forever Purple. Okay, so that's who I want to uh, tag to do this holidays. Yeah, Forever Purple. Yep, else. LC. So, um, you guys go ahead. Oh, one more person. Kendall's Corner. I want to tag her also. One last person. I know I said all things Pinto Beans. I want to tag her. I love them. <laughs> if you got guys, get over there and check her out. She looked like Tulip 
from Preacher. <laughs> and she looked just like her to me. So I don't know if you guys checked her out yet, but uh, comment in the comment section and, and see, let me know what you think. But she's, they got, that's an awesome family too. One person left. And I know I said it, and I know I'm done with this person. Tracy Place. Now this young lady right here, quite sure we about the same age, but <clears throat> I might be a little bit older. But uh, that's nor here nor there. Um, she is very awesome. She's very informational. She's been helping me out a lot on this YouTube platform. Okay, you guys definitely need to go check her out. Okay, alright, so those are all the people that I want to tag. And let's go ahead and jump right into this food. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, I am back. I got this on medium low. So I'm going to put me a little, uh, about a teaspoon of olive oil in there. Then I also have some spray butter. You can use the other butter if you want to. Go like that. And we're just going to like, like do that, okay? Because we don't want our eggs to stick to the side. When they get a little bit warm, I'm probably going to put a little bit more olive oil in it. So like that, uh, go with a tablespoon, okay? Because that butter will burn. Okay, my eggs have been beaten. See the little foam up there? That's air, indicating a lot of air in it. So I'm going to pour some of this in there. About that much. Uh, a little bit more. So we're going to be making about four of these. And we're just going to let that go ahead and puff up a little bit before we get to messing with it. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys. I'm going to just take the side. Just like that. Had to speed up the process because it takes a while to cook these eggs. And you don't want it hard, guys. See all that um, extra oil coming out of there? I just kind of squeeze it a little bit. Then I take that out. Okay? Like that. Put us some more eggs in there. Well, that should be enough. Okay, you guys already know how to do that. And you got the log you know, logistics on that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and finish these up and I'll show you what we'll be doing next in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. Show you how them eggs turned up. If you can see that, that's the eggs for those bad boys. And I got the sourdough. So what I'm going to do is take some of this butter. Put some on the grill like this. Then I'm going to take the red butter. Probably going to end up being like a tablespoon or more, maybe. I have this like mine buttery. Just like that. Okay, get that my butter it up. Put that to the side. Take your bread. I, I can cook a whole bunch at one time, so I'm gonna cook a few. Hopefully I can get six on there. 
maybe. Just barely. Got six on there. Here's what I like to do. I take some of this butter right here, sprinkle some of that on there, just like that. Okay. And while that's cooking, you can take the cheese. I'm gonna put two of these on here because. Just like so. The best moon over Miami, I guarantee you. No, I got fired from a lot of jobs. <laughs> and I, you know, and it's the tripped out thing because uh, the customers always want me to make their food. That's when you know you was cooking. So since we went with two cheeses over that way, I'm going to have to go with two on this one also. Okay. Moan over my hammies. Better than Denny's. Guarantee you. And I'm not tooting them horns. I'm trying to tell you. I'm not. I'm telling you the truth. If you try it, You'll see what I'm talking about. Presentation is key to anything you do. Flavors, you got to know. So anyway, guys, enough of me talking and just jabbing around. I'm going to go ahead and let that probably sit on there for about a good, I don't know, about four minutes. Because I got it on low. And I wanted to brown evenly. When the cheese started melting, then I know it's ready. See you guys in a minute. Okay, guys. That's about ready to get taken on. See how that looks on that side. Yep. Put that over to the side. Yep. Alright. And then, all we got to do now is just do our um, ham and turkey. Now, you ain't got to use as much as me that I'm using, but uh, I like a medium sandwich. Okay. Now, and all we're doing is just warming it up. Uh, we're not frying it and all of that, so we're just warming it up. Uh, about not even a minute, probably like yeah, about a minute on each side, and then we're done with that. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, I am back. Let's go ahead and start forming this stuff up. All right, you can take your um, I'm gonna use that one from my other one. Take you some um, eggs. Put those on there. Like that. All right, get your ham. Like that. Turkey. Turkey. All 
All right. Wipe my hands down. Just put it on top, just like this. Boom. 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 There you guys have it, right there. Moon over Miami. The best moon over Miami. You guys can see that deliciousness. Uh, they normally cut theirs like, like this. Just like that. There you guys go. Get your first bite. You want that corner right there? You want that middle? Hmm? It is delicious. I'm trying to told you. Now, I'm not going to eat. I know it tastes good. Because <laughs> I made it too many times. I haven't made it in about a year. But I have made it a lot of times at Denny's. But, you know, like I said, they had American cheese and Swiss cheese. So... guys like this video let me go ahead and set it up for you guys see if I can set this up it's going to be decorated on a plate so don't even worry about it too much I'm not going to worry about it too much so if I can put that over here just like that Just like that, guys. Guys, like this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Please like and share it. Tell all your friends and family to tune in to Vail Dog's Kitchen, where we be making restaurant quality foods or better from my home to yours. Guys, I'll see you next time at Vail Dog's Kitchen. Let's get cooking.